I'm uh, just going to do a run through here of the Nikon J1 menu system, or the V1's pretty much identical. This is the shooting menu. Very easy to use. This rotationary control here is really nice and positive. It doesn't feel squidgy at all. Get your exposure mode here. Now a lot of people are annoyed it's not up on the dial here, but I tend to use it in aperture priority mode and I suspect a lot of enthusiasts will do the same and then just never ever change it. Image quality, you've got your usual options, RAW, JPEG, basic, normal, fine, or RAW and JPEG. Now this camera tends to shoot a lot better in RAW than anything else, so I leave it in that. You've got your shutter settings here, single frame, continuous shooting, or electronic high if you want the fast 60 frames a second. The metering here, now this is something that could do with having a button because it is something I change quite often and going into the menu can be a bit annoying. The metering on this camera is exceptionally good and it just seems to get it right all the time. White balance, ISO sensitivity, now I tend to leave it in the maximum auto. This camera is very good really up to 3200. You can if you want go and choose manual high 1 which is the equivalent of 6400. It's a shame there isn't a 100 to 1600. I don't know why they'd they wouldn't have that on the system, but it is a shame for people who don't want it to go all the way up to 3200. Picture control, you've got your usual Nikon standard, neutral, vivid. If you want to use those, they, I leave it in RAW so it doesn't really matter. You can have custom controls as well. Your color space, sRGB or Adobe again leave it in RGB. Active delighting, which is quite good but does tend to leave the images with not as much contrast as you'd like. The noise reduction on this camera tends to make the JPEGs a little bit soft so I turn that off generally. Now, the interval timing shooter is something that I was surprised to find and really happy to find on it because it's something I've missed from the other system cameras. And it's great for taking time-lapse photography, which I really enjoy doing. You can set it up just like your, your DSLR. You interval the number of shots you want and then just hit start and off it goes. What else is there? Vibration reduction, normal active and off. Focusing mode. Focusing on this camera is exceptionally good. I just tend to leave it in AFA, which selects between phase detection and contrast. You can have manual focus and I have tried it and it works with the little button here to go in and out and it works really well, a lot better than, um, certainly a lot better than the X100. AF area mode, single, that's what I tend to use all the time anyway so I can be sure of what I'm focusing on. Face priority, that works really well and because I use this camera mainly for family stuff I tend to leave that on. In the other menu, you can format your memory card, welcome screen, I leave that off so it starts up faster. Thirds grid display, very useful. Sound settings, now normally I have these all turned off, but because it's quite hard to tell if you've taken a picture with the electronic shutter, I leave the shutter one on. It's quite quiet, which is nice. It doesn't tend to get in the way. Auto power off, now I have this down at the lowest setting, because this camera starts up really quick, so you might as well have it on the lowest setting to keep your battery life usual A locks, flicker reduction, this is something they have for the electronic shutter on the J1 time and date, pixel mapping is something that came in with the last version of the firmware and firmware version here I've got the very latest on there, now it's really easy to update on this camera unlike say on the Olympus where you have to connect it to the computer on this one you just put it on the SD card and away it goes, which is a far better option in my opinion. Got the playback menu, which I never use because I do all my processing on the computer. But all in all, it's a really very simple, easy to use menu system.